En couture. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Before the chamber invites the civil party to appear in the courtroom, ne fasse comparaître la partie civile dans le prétoire. After hearing the request and also the responses by the council. Copé, in relation to document E366. A bien entendu les remarques de Maître Copé par rapport au document E366. The chamber decides. Ainsi que today we will hear the testimony of a witness of a civil party rather to CCP 252. Because the civil party is currently in the compound of the ECCC, and Mr. Copé stated that this uh, civil party has something to do with Maître cases uh, 0, 03 and 0, 04. However, the chamber decides that after hearing uh, this uh, civil party, if uh, Council Copé si believes it is necessary civile, to invite the civil party to appear before the chamber again, and then Council Copé can uh, submit a request for reappearance of this witness. The chamber will take into account uh, what has been raised uh, by counsel for the defense team and also the request uh, by co-prosecutor. And uh, the chamber will issue the decision in use cause perhaps next week. Court officer, please invite a, the civil party to see CP252 into the courtroom.
Good morning, Mr. Sibyl Paris. What is your name? Bonjour, Monsieur la Partie Civile. Quel est votre nom? Answer. My name is Himman. Je suis Himman. Himman. President, thank you, Mr. Himman. When were you born? Do you recall it? Please hold on and observe the microphone before you speak. Wait until the mic is operating. Observez le microphone et vous assurez que la lumière est allumée. Le voyant est allumé avant de parler. Parti civil. I was born in 1949. President, thank you. Where were you born, Mr. Mann? President, please observe the microphone before you speak. Answer, I was born in Saxo village. PM Chikong Commune, Kong District, Kampung Cham Province. President, thank you. What, what is your current address? Where are you living now? Answer, I am living in Saxo Village. President, what village uh, is it? Quel village est -ce? Civil party, Parti Saxo civil, village. village President. Saxo, President. Oh, what is the commune? commune Are you living in now? Answer. I am living in Saxo village. J'habite dans le village de Saxo. Kongmies district. District de Kongmies. Again. I am living in Saxo village. Je vis dans le village de Saxo. PMG Kong commune, Kong district, Kampung Cham province. Question: What are your parents' names? Quels sont les noms de vos parents? Answer. Réponse: My father's name is Him, and my name is Man. Him, ma mère s'appelle. Question: What about your mother? What is her name? Question: Quel est le nom de votre mère? Answer: Her name is El M. El M. President. Thank you, Mr. Himan. What is your wife's name, and how many children do do you have? Answer: Réponse: I have five children. J'ai cinq enfants. Question: What is your wife's name? Quel est le nom de votre femme? Answer: Réponse. Her name is Cordijas. Son nom Him est Cordijas. Him Cordijas. President, uh, Mr. Himan, at the Himan. end. Of your testimony as a civil party, you may make a victim impact impact statement or harm suffered by you during the democratic Kampuchea if you wish to do so. Under Internal Rule 91 bis of the ECCC, the floor is now given to the legal lawyer for civil parties before other parties. The legal lawyer for civil parties and co-prosecutors will have two sessions to put questions to this civil party. You may now proceed. But, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Lao Jun Ti, the lawyer representing is representing uh, the civil party will ask question first, followed by uh, the co lawyer Mary Giro. President, you may not proceed, Council.
Lord, uh, Lord and tea. Good morning, Mr. President. First of all, very good morning, Chamber, parties, everyone in and around the courtroom. My name is Lao Junti. I am the lawyer representing civil parties. I am f from Legal Aid of Cambodia. Good morning, Mr. Civil Party Himan. Monsieur Himan I have several questions to ask you in relation to the treatment of Cham people within the period of 1975 to 1979. But first, uh, before 1975, where did you live, um, Mr. Himan? Answer. I lived in Saxo village. Question. Question. In Saxo village. Dans le village de Saxo. Did uh, Cham, did the whole village uh, consist of Cham people? N'y avait-il que des Cham? Le village dans son entier était-il constitué uniquement de Cham? Answer. Réponse. I live in Saxo village and uh, in that village uh, there were Cham living in the entire village. There were no Khmer people living mingled with the Cham people in that Saxo village. Lawyer, thank you. Back then, were there monks for Cham people to practice their religion. Answer. Yes, we have mosques and we have everything for Cham people to practice their religions and to worship. Lawyer, thank you. Merci. Back then, did how did the uh, Jam people and uh, your villagers uh, practice the religion? At that epoch, là, comment les Cham et vos villageois pratiquaient-ils leur religion? We practiced uh, practiced our religion as normal. We had a freedom at that time to practice our religion. Lawyer. Thank you. So from what I heard, uh, you were allowed uh, to practice your religion freely. No one came to prohibit you all from pr practicing your religion. Is that true? Answer. No one banned us from practice our religion at that time. But later on, We heard a different news. Nous avons entendu différentes nouvelles. Lawyer, thank you. L'avocat, merci. What about after 1975, after 17 April 1975, where did you leave? 
Quelle était la situation Où habitiez-vous Answer. I was still living in Saitso village Réponse, after the 17 April 1975. Le 17 avril 1975. Question. Question. What about Cham people? Qu'en est-il des Cham? Were Chan? they still living in the same village as you were village, at the time? Comme vous à l'époque? Answer yes. Réponse they were oui. living in the village. Ils habitaient dans le village. Later on, Cham people Peta. were transferred uh, to elsewhere. Half of villagers uh, were evacuated and sent to different places Et and they were à dispersed. Ils ont été dispersés. Council, thank you. Avocat, je vous remercie. Do you know how many Cham families were, will, were living in that village? Savez-vous combien de familles Cham habitaient dans ce village? Answer. Réponse. I can tell you the estimates number. Je peux vous donner une estimation. I do not know whether it is right or wrong. Je ne sais pas si elle est correcte ou fausse. There were around 200 Il y avait or 300 of Cham families within Cham the village. Le I village. was not the one who was in charge of the statistics. Uh, it was that Kum who held uh, that responsibility. It is my estimate that uh, there were around Moi, the number I mentioned a little while ago. Le chiffre Council, que je viens de mentionner. You have just made a mention that Cham people were evacuated and they were si sent to various places. Ont été à Where were they sent to? À quel endroit ont-ils été envoyés? Answer. All I know is that there was evacuation and I could no longer see half of the villager who used to be living in my village. I do not know where they were sent to. All I know is that there were no half of the villagers living in the village and I was I heard that uh, they were sent to live in various places. Question. question how did they uh, go to live in various places comment sont ils allés vivre dans ces différents endroits answer they were on foot at that time ils étaient à pied à l'époque répond la partie civile no vehicles no il n'y avait pas de véhicules Horse cars uh, were being used as a means of transportation at that time. Question. While Cham people were being evacuated, do you know when it happened? Savez-vous à quel moment c'était? Answer. Réponse. It is my estimate that it happened in 1975. Yes, perhaps it is. It was in that year. Cette année-là. 
I told you already about the year when some people were evacuated. Uh, it happened more than 40 years. So during the time, I had, you know, I, my mouth uh, were full of teeth, but now some of my teeth were gone. Question. How long after Question. the 17 April 1975 were Après people, young people, evacuated? Did it happen during the rainy season or in the dry season that year? Cette année-là, pendant la saison sèche ou la saison des pluies? Answer. Réponse. Some people were evacuated uh, in the dry season that year. I cannot tell you the exact month of that Je year. It was. It happened in the dry season at the time, uh, no rains and the weather was hot. Question regarding young people who were evacuated. Do you en know some of them, or were any of them related you, certains? related to you? Certains d'entre eux avaient des liens de parenté avec vous, des liens quelconque. Answer: Yes, I know some of them, namely Taz Krizo. Je connais certains d'entre eux, Ta Secret Sos. Ta was also Ta one of among the evacuees. Également parmi les évacués, c'était l'un d'entre eux. There were too many of them. Ils étaient très But nombreux. I am pretty sure that uh, Ta Secret Sos was among the evacuees. Ta Secret Sos faisait partie des évacués. Council, thank you. You said that some of young people were evacuated from your village. So how many young families remain living in your village at that time? Combien de familles Cham restaient alors dans votre village à ce moment-là? Answer. After the evacuation, there were Réponse only 30 Cham families remained uh, living in the village because many of Cham people were transferred out of my village already. Council, thank you. Among the Cham 30 family, did it also include uh, your family? Y avait-il également votre famille? Yes, my uh, family was among that uh, 30 Jam families. Uh, we were living, still living in uh, the village after the evacuation. Council, thank you. Later on. Plus tard. Were these remaining Cham family called to attend any meetings? Answer. We were invited to attend a meeting and we were told that we Cham as next were required to have our hair cut and we were prohibited from worship and we were 
required to eat pork at that time. Everything in relation to Islamic uh, religion, we were prohibited from uh, practicing the religion. And at that time, we told that uh, the his the wheel of the history was moving, and if we happen to put our hands in or to put our legs in to stop the wheel, we, our limbs would be cut by the speed of the wheel. Lawyer, do you recall who called all of you to attend the meeting at that time? de la personne qui vous a demandé de venir à la réunion à ce moment-là Answer. I could recall réponse. it, but not well. Je m'en souviens pas bien. During that time, the village chief's name was Tram. Chef He was a jam person practicing Islamic religion. Tatam was appointed to be the village chief, and uh, he was the one who told me about what uh, was concerning uh, Islamic religion. I had to say that Tam, the village chief, uh, was under, uh, the, was below at the higher level uh, people. Later Tatam on, Tatam, the village chief, was taken away and killed. Councillor, thank you. Question. Merci. You just stated that the village chief at the time uh, was Tatam. Donc vous venez de dire que le chef de village à l'époque s'appelait Tatam. And that Tatam received instruction Il from the Tatam upper uh, level. Supérieur. Did he actually organize a meeting to disseminate the information that he received from the upper level as you have just stated? Supérieur, comme vous venez de le dire. Answer. Réponse. I myself was tasked uh, to do to engage in manual Moi, labor, je faire du travail manuel. and uh, I was working while the meeting was uh, being uh, conducted uh, nearby. Cette réunion, qui s'est tenue non loin de là d'ailleurs. In the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. When a chief at that level disseminated a certain Rouge, information, it was pretty certain that the information was from the upper level. However, I cannot uh, say at which level the information was uh, originated. He received the instructions from the upper level, I presumed, and he relayed those instructions. Question. Question. Can you inform the chamber what happened after the conclusion of that meeting? I mean, what happened to the, the jam people? Ce qui est arrivé au jam après cette réunion. And so, indeed, bien sûr. People started to disappear, Les either individually or as a whole family. Individuellement ou des familles entières même. And that happened continually. Et cela euh, arrivait continuellement. People kept disappearing. Les gens disparaissaient. Question. And do you yourself Question. know the reasons for those uh, people's disappearances? Savez-vous pourquoi ces gens ont disparu? Answer. Réponse. I did. Oui. 
after those people's disappearances. In fact, uh, people, while they were having meal, were taken away en fait, by the Khmer Rouge at gunpoint. Gens, uh, and it, it, it varied, uh, the mangeaient. circumstances varied Ça depending on en fait, how many people the Khmer Rouge needed to take uh, away. De que les Khmer Sometimes two or three fois, people were taken the, at a time during the meal time. Le repas. And we were so scared at meal time Et because we were thinking repas, that uh, some of us would be taken away at that time. In our tradition, of course, we, we have meal in order Selon to live. But under the Khmer Rouge regime, every time, when it was a meal time, we were afraid that we would be taken away and killed. And people were taken to the west. And I presume they were taken to Otrakun Pagoda. Question. Question. And when you knew about people being taken away at gunpoint, Quand vous avez su que on did you know gens, whether any band imposed uh, on your religion? Saviez-vous si l'on avait interdit la pratique de votre religion? Answer. It was related uh, to our religion. Il y avait un lien avec notre religion. For us, we prayed uh, to Allah, despite the ban by the Khmer Rouge. We did it Allah. secretly. Malgré l'interdiction, on le faisait en secret. At that time, we were under constant monitoring by the militia. Nous étions sous euh, surveillance And permanente. And of course, they milices. did not tell us that this person or that person Bien was entendu, taken away because uh, they were telle, telle spotted uh, praying to Allah. En train de prier. And that was the uh, conclusion that we made that we were under uh, watch by the militia and if any of us was found to pray si to Allah, then we would be risking our life as they would come to take us away at gunpoint at lunchtime. Pendant les repas. However, this is my personal conclusion, as they, of course, did not tell us the reason tiré, when they came to take people away at gunpoint while we were having meal. And as I said, at that repas. time, everybody was well worth with uh, saying that the historical wheel was in motion, and if you were happen to be in the way, you would be crashed. Council, uh, please uh, compose yourself, uh, Mr. Gentil, Mr. Civil Party, and please uh, make your response uh, rather uh, precise. Des, des questions, des réponses précises. You spoke about uh, having meal. Were you having meal communally? It is a repas collectif. I mean, among all the Jam people, Donc and were gens. you forced uh, to eat uh, anything vous that you were supposed not to? Quelque chose que vous ne deviez pas manger. Answer. After. The meeting, the Cham people were Réponse. forced to Après eat the pork. Réunion, on a forcé les à manger du porc. And when we actually were having meal, nobody came to inspect whether we were having uh, pork repas, or not. Est venu Everybody si porc, non. was silent. Everybody was afraid of everyone else. We were afraid that our uh, next 
the person who was sitting next to us would report to, to Anka in order to gain favor from Anka. And for that reason, when we were having meal, no Khmer uh, came to see whether we were having pork or not. We were afraid that we were being watched, and if, uh, if we were reported by our other Acham people, then we would be in danger. Everybody was seemed uh, to compete uh, with one another in order to gain favor from the Khmer Rouge. Question. Can you inform the chamber whether all the Cham people hate to eat pork? Pouvez-vous nous dire si les chambres devaient manger du porc Answer. Réponse. In accordance to the holy text of Allah, d'après les textes sacrés d'Allah, food that we were supposed not to eat. However, if we were forced at gun point, we could eat that meat in order to survive. And with that belief, some Cham people actually ate the pork. At that time, we were threatened if we were not to consume the pork, then we, we would be shot. Some people were weeping while they ate pork. Here, the, the, the meat that I refer to is pork. I made this response because I myself had to force myself to eat pork, otherwise I would be shot dead. Je me suis forcé à manger du porc, sinon m'aurait tué. Question, and what are, what about other uh, traditions and uh, customs? Was there any prohibitions uh, by the Khmer Rouge? Mr. President, uh, witness, uh, civil party rather, please uh, wait and cast a copper. You have the floor. Uh, thank you, President. Um, no objection, but um, a request to the lawyer for the civil parties to um, be a little bit more specific as to what period of time we're speaking about. Uh, I haven't been hearing any reference to time. I presume we are still in 75 or 76, um, but I haven't heard that. So, um, in the previous question, the lawyer asked at what time did this happen? Um, I would like to have clarification as to uh, what year we are talking about now. Thank you, Councillor. Merci, Maître. And Mr. Civil Party, allow me to uh, put further questions to you. Parti civil. In relation uh, to your question? testimony that you just uh, made, can you inform the Chamber uh, which year did it happen? Cela Answer. Réponse. I can only give you Je an estimate. Peux vous donner qu'une estimation. I think it it happened in around 1976. Je pense que cela s'est produit en 76. Yeah, I think so. It's uh, oui, 1976. At that time, we did not have anything à to refer to uh, uh, the date or the year. 
Because we, uh, that's what I, I supposed to say. It was in 1976. However, for the actual physical mistreatment that I myself experienced, and I can tell you rather uh, precisely about that. Je peux vous en parler précisément. Je peux vous en parler plus précisément. Les sévices que j'ai subis. Counsel, thank you. Let me go back a little bit. Merci. Laissez-moi revenir un peu en arrière. You referred to a meeting. Vous avez fait référence à une réunion. They mentioned that the Cham people. Were their enemies? Did they mention that in the meeting? Est-ce que cela a été dit lors de la réunion? Answer. Réponse. There was a rumor which was spread out through the village that the Cham people were the enemy number one of the regime, and the Khmer people were enemy number two. And at that time, I myself was wondering about that. Moi, justement, je me demandais ce qu'il en était. And in fact, I asked a person whose name I cannot recall et now, and a person was a Khmer, not Cham. And I asked why, why the Cham people were regarded as enemy number one. Pour, quand à, and les he said that because based on the historical background since uh, the birth of Allah, that the Cham people were greedy in engaging in, les avares, in the battles, in wars. And that's what I, I heard from this uh, Khmer person. Et ce que ce Khmer dit. And the rumor was uh, spread out through the village, and later on I observed that Cham people had been arrested. But in my mind, I still uh, had doubt at the time that why Mais the Cham people were moi, considered enemy number one. Des doutes à l'époque quant à pourquoi on considérait les Cham comme thank you. I'd like to move on to the next uh, topic. Merci. J'aimerais passer au uh, prochain sujet qui m'intéresse. In regard to the Cham people who were uh, living in the village. Pour ce qui est des Cham qui vivaient dans le village. And that later on, only 30 Cham families remain. Et plus tard, il n'y avait que 30 familles de Cham. My question to you is the following: Were there other people sent uh, to live si in that village? Si d'autres personnes ont été envoyées vivre dans ce village. Answer: Yes, there Réponse, were. Réponse: Oui. The Khmerus actually uh, allotted the Khmer people to live mingled with the Cham people in that village. Organiser, plutôt, on fait en sorte que les Khmer et les Cham vivent ensemble so, dans le village. By that time, from the view, we could say that there were there was no longer temps, distinction between the Cham people and the Khmer people, and every one of us living in the village was considered the Khmer people. Euh, qui vivait Question. dans le village des considérés comme un Khmer. What year did this happen? Question. Was it in 1976? Était-ce en 1976? And uh, I think I have to uh, make an estimate again. Because uh, I did not have any calendar to refer to in the regime. That event uh, probably took place in 1976. Question. Question. There was an event that happened in that village. One day, the Cham people were rounded up and taken away from the village. 
Were you among the Cham people that were run it up, President, uh, Mr. Civil Party? Uh, please hold on. And Council Consumon, you have the floor. Consumon, thank you, Mr. President. Please instruct the Civil Party lawyer to provide the uh, document that he referred to. This Civil Party so far does not mention anything about uh, running up the, the Cham people. Civil Party lawyer. Lord Chumte. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. My question is based. Je fonde ma question. By the size of the file, so on the moyen. The document is E3 slash 4706. No, E R N Khmer is so on so on. The Khmer Ian is zero zero three six nine zero five one. And I will provide you with the English and the French Ian a bit later, rather. The English is zero zero four zero seven eight six eight. President, uh, Councillor Consum on, Le you had the floor. Consum on. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. In order to avoid uh, putting any leading question to the civil party, it is uh, a practice that a general question shall be put first to the civil party before a particular document is referred to. Civil party lawyer, uh, thank you. Let me uh, refresh uh, my question to the civil le, party. L'avocat des partis civils. Laissez-moi. Uh, my question to you is the following, uh, Mr. Civil Party. Répétez ma question à la partie civile. Monsieur. Did you know about an event that took place uh, in your village? Subsequently. Avez-vous entendu parler? d'un incident qui s'est produit dans notre village par la suite. Answer. Subsequently, réponse. par la suite, the Cham people were not allowed to go and work in the field On and uh, to remain in, state in, the, uh, in their respective homes in the village, while the Khmer people were allowed to work in the field. Le dans les champs. So the remaining Cham people from the evacuation were instructed to remain at home. On reçu pour and de rester I chez was eux. wondering what was happening. Et je me demandais Why we were uh, uh, allowed to Pourquoi not to leave home? Avions-nous le droit de rester à la maison? And actually, they started uh, round it. They started rounding us up uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon. And the members of those people were members of the long sword group. Et les gens du they groupe actually Zippé. were wearing scarf and they were shirtless. Mais pas de they chemise. had long swords. I myself was among the Cham people who were being rounded up and taken to the pits in Otrakun Pagoda. Rassemblés et emmenés dans les fosses à la pagode Otrakun. I knew that we were uh, rounded up by Je them and that we would fall into their trap. And then I discussed uh, with my wife what uh, we were going to do in order to survive. And then I survive. So 
uh, within the group, I was Donc, walking uh, before other people so that the Khmer Rouge group would uh, think that I was heading to the pits. Pour que les Khmer Rouge pensent que je me dirigeais vers les fosses. And then I uh, met a, a person from the area and I was asked where I was Et heading to. J'ai vu quelqu'un. And I actually uh, told him that I was uh, j'ai searching for my cattle. Que je cherchais mon bétail. And actually I called my wife Et to, j'ai fait venir mon uh, to come along quickly. Pour que je lui ai dit de venir bien rapidement. Avec moi. Because we had to rush uh, to to Car find our cattle. If our cattle uh, ate the vegetable, le then we would be in big si trouble. Légumes, so then I was uh, moving ahead with Donc my wife, and then I uh, met another uh, person. J'ai croisé and by that time, the the main jam group was being herded by là, members of the long sort group. And, and luckily, I saw donc, a, 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 a cow, enfin, a rather a par brown color cow, épée, and I was happy that une I uh, would uh, survive. However, we could not leave survivre. the outskirts of the village yet, as I observed mm. that uh, there were armed people le village, car situated il y avait along the edge of the qui... village. So we hit ourselves, autour du village. and at Donc, that time I was about 50 meters away from them, and then we were hiding nous, ourselves nous in the bushes, and I could see them clearly, I voir. could see them carrying AK-47 rifles, AK-47. although I did not know who they were. Mais je ne pas qui ils so there were two groups. Uh, there were uh, a group of long sort of members who were herding uh, the, the jam people, while another épées. armed group was uh, guarding at the outskirts of the village. Alors autre groupe montait la garde Civil dans le Party lawyer interrupts. My apology, Mr. Civil Party, uh, allow me to interrupt. You said uh, the jam people were being rounded up. What was, 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 was the process like? Please uh, 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 elaborate a bit further. Answer. They rounded up the jam people les chambres. in a part in a, a a certain way in order not to make mistake in rounding up the Khmer people. For that reason, the Khmer people were instructed to go and work in the field, and only the jam people were instructed uh, to remain at home. And actually, later on, those people who were instructed to work uh, outside the village uh, were taken away and killed too. Question. Question. My main focus is related to the activity of rounding up the jam people. Moi, je veux que were the jam people told vous de, the reason for the uh, gathering? Vous were any jam people uh, tied, or were they allowed uh, to walk que ces normally? Ont été ligotés, ou leur a-t-on permis de marcher librement? Answer. During the process of uh, rounding up, if any jam person resisted, uh, that person would be tied. Les chams, si quelqu'un résistait, However, on for the, those who did not uh, resist, they were not Mais tied. At that time, the situation was rather confusing and chaotic. Uh, the dogs Mais were barking, très and les confus, the chicken les chiens aboyaient, was les running here and there. 
tous les cours et partout. So happy zoom. So even the cattle and the animals knew that people were being rounded up and taken to be killed. Rassembler les gens pour aller les tuer. Question. Question. You said that the people were being escorted Vous by members que of the long sword group. Escorted by the members of the group of long sword. And you yourself uh, successfully uh, fled uh, from the group. Is that correct? Is that the case? Answer. Réponse. Actually, at that time, I tricked them. J ai, j ai I ai... uh, made sure that when they saw me, I was a, a gentle person who would not resist uh, uh, the instructions. And then uh, later on, I managed uh, to uh, hide myself uh, in the nearby booth. And that was the trick that I used in order to survive. Question. So when you could uh, remove yourself from the group and then hid yourself in the bus? What else did you learn during this uh, period of time? qu'avez-vous appris d'autre à cette époque? Answer. Réponse. I knew about uh, what happened at the time because I myself was admit uh, the situation. Car j'ai vu la situation. I was lying in the bush. Je me cachais dans les buissons. And I remained there until. Dans les buissons et j'y suis resté. Until. It became dark, and maybe it was around uh, seven o'clock in uh, at night. Then the Cham people, they started to kill the, the Cham people. And why could I say that? Because the place where I was hiding was about 100 meters away from the pit where they were killing the Cham people. I heard screams. I was lying in the bushes with my Moi, wife, je, and we heard the screams. Épouse, we even heard the, the sound from people being uh, hit. People oui, screamed for Allah uh, to help. Allah. Allah leur en aide. They scream, Oh Allah, Et my crier. Lord. Allah. And usually, the Cham people did not make such a scream. Et en général, les Cham ne crient pas de la sorte. And no other people who screamed, but the Cham people Et who pray to Allah. Et and I was there hiding in the bush because I could not uh, escape from the village since the, there was another Et layer of the uh, Khmerus guarding the village. Uh, du village car il y avait un autre groupe President, de uh, thank you, uh, Council. It is now time for our lunch break. We will take a lunch break from now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist uh, the civil party during the uh, break time at the waiting room for civil parties and witnesses and invite him back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take Kiss uh, Pond to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings in this courtroom before 1.30. The court is now in recess.